Hi everyone. It is now the sixth week of the spring 2020 semester. And um, this week we are going to look at comma usage. So if you are in my English 1101 class, then you are responsible for having turned in a first draft of the compare contrast essay um, as of last night. But if you're not in my English 1101 class, I really can't hold you responsible for that if you're not doing compare contrast essays in your other class. So I hope that um, if you are doing compare contrast in your other classes, though, that you will still submit early drafts to me because I want to help you um, write those much better. So in the meantime, everybody this week is responsible for the common usage quiz because as somebody who has been teaching college level English for the last 10 years, it's very apparent to me that common usage is a problem area. So what I've done this week is I've given you a PowerPoint slideshow to look through. I've also given you a quiz, which you should take. And my recommendation to you is go ahead and go to chompchomp.com and uh, take the quiz there before you submit it to me here so that you can uh, get an idea of what the rules are. Pay attention to what all of the answers say because they will tell you what comma rule applies to that particular question. I really think that since comma usage is so confusing that taking this quiz and reading what it says to you and going through the PowerPoint slideshow, all of that will help you become better at using commas the correct way in your writing, in all college level writing, and even beyond. So take the quiz, make sure you get those questions in, and I look forward to seeing how much you have learned about comma usage as I grade your quizzes.